Hey everyone, Stephanie here, coffee drinker, book lover, and reviewer of many things. And today I am going to talk about fruit baskets. So, um, I finished the series. <laughs> um, first I want to say, I got a haircut. I don't know if you can tell. But I got a haircut, and I'm using a new hair color, and it's more of a blue color, so I don't know how long this one's going to last, but I kind of like it. Um, it's a bluish purple. It's like, it's called neon purple, but matches my shirt. So... If you've watched my recent videos, or my last few videos, um, I've talked about Fruits Basket and how I'm going to do a video on it. Well, here I am. I finished the 12th one. These are the, um, the col collection edition. Col collector's edition. It says it right there, literally. Um, it's a manga. There are pictures in it, um, and this series is really great for older kids, like teenagers and adults. Um, I want to preface preference. I want to start by saying that because um, it does hit on some hard topics. Um, there's bullying and abuse and attempted murder and kids that are not loved by their parents, which I know that kind of falls under abuse, but I wanted to make sure I said that. Um, but, oh, and there's death. But it was such a good um, series. And if you're like, oh, I can't read a manga because I don't know the different terminologies that they use whenever it's like at the end of people's names. Hold on. What's it called? Honor honorifics? Guess what? In the back, it talks about all that stuff, too. So, like, if you see San at the end of someone's name, you're like, what's the difference between San and Kun? Or Chan. You can go to the back and it explains it for you. It also explains um, different things that are culturally acceptable um, and like what they mean. Um, okay. This, so this story is about um I had, I, I knew what I was going to say before I started talking. Um, it's about change. It's about coming to terms. It's about becoming an adult. It's about how life can change even when you're an adult. And that it's like, it's just so sweet. Um, so in the first few books were mostly following Toro. Toro. Toru. We're following Toru. I'm trying to find a picture. Um this girl. And her mom just died. She's living with uh, this is her mom. And that's her dad. Uh, I love that that's what we got on the last book. Um, it was like, this is her mom when she was young, whenever she first met her dad. Um, her mom was a student, and her dad was a, um, not a professor, but like a, a teacher's aide. Like, this is what he was thinking of doing with his life. So this was like a part-time job, kind of, with school. And she gets in trouble, and she's being held in an office, and he goes in, and he's like, let's get out of here. 
And so he's at least four years older than her. And so it's, there's the, some there's some debate on age, but I mean, whatever, whatever. Um, it is so cute. The, the story is so cute. So his, her mom, it, I'm pretty sure that's her mom. Anyway, so T Toru's mom it was a um, a gang member at a young age, starting at a young age. Um, you know, kind of a bad seed, if you will. And then she meets him. And, well, she had started, she had already started thinking, you know, maybe I should get out of this. I don't like beating people up. But um, she was like, a big member. Like, everyone knew who she was. And, um, yeah. So, and then they had Toru. And Toru is, like, this sweet little girl. And she's, like, very innocent. And even as a teenager, when she's about to start high school, she's still very innocent. It's not just her story, but it's also the story of the Zodiac. And um, she meets the Soma family. And... Some members of the Zodiac, or some members of the Soma family, um, transform into the Zodiac that they've been bestowed by the god. Um, <laughs> um, if they're hugged by the opposite sex. Um, one of the other reasons why I say that Fruit, Fruits Basket is probably for the older teenagers and adults is because there are some cuss words and um, some topics other than just the abuse that you're like <sighs> teenagers um, <laughs> or in one of them's case dirty old man uh, <laughs> that you you have to read the book to understand that comment um but she starts out, her mom has died. Her dad died when she was a kid. Um, she's supposed to be living with her grandpa. Renovations are being done on his place. And the family that is going to take him in doesn't have room for her also. And she's like, I'll, just, I'll, I'll find a place. It's fine. you know." And she decides she's going to camp out. And she thinks that she's in, like, a national park, but she's not. She's on the Soma family property. And she was walking to school. And she comes across a house, and she's like, oh, I don't remember this house being here. <laughs> Whenever she set up her tent. And she also works a part-time job. So she goes, you know, she, after school, she goes to work. And so... She leaves the tent early to get to school, and she goes past this house, and there's, like, something draws her attention. I'm not going to go through everything. And she meets the person who lives there, and it turns out someone in the family also goes to her school. And so they end up walking together. And that's Yuki. And he's, like, the prince of the school. He's just so cute. And they like to dress him up as a girl sometimes because he's so pretty. And it is so sweet that they start, um, you know, he's like, I didn't know there was any houses back there. And she's like, I am just live further on. You, you know, I'm good. You know, fine. Like, she's trying to keep it up. She's like, I'm not living in a tent. She doesn't even told her best friends. And then um, <clears throat> one... Uh, they see her at, at night. She's walking back to, like, you know, going back past the house after work. And they're like, Where? Maybe we should follow her because she looked like she was sick. Like, there was, you know, she was very dazed and, like, it looked like she was going to faint. So they start following her at a distance, of course, because they don't want to spook her. And she climbs into her tent, grabs the toothpaste, and she's going to go brush her teeth down the stream and get ready for bed before she does her homework. And she comes back out and she's like, oh, because they're staying there and they're like, what are you doing? 
and um, they, she faints. And so they take her back to the house and they get her to wake up and she has a fever. And um, one of them is like, you know, you know how dangerous it is to be out there? Do you know how many rock slides happen out there? Like, that, what about the, you know, bad people going through? Like, what if someone, like, murders you? <laughs> like, <laughs> not to mention that now you're sick. Um, you really should take care of yourself. And she, like, you know, <laughs> about what's going on. And then there's some howling and some, like, dogs in the distance. Maybe wolves. And... One of the guys goes, oh, there's just been a rock slide. And she's like, what? And so he's like, we should go check your tent. And so she takes off running. She's frantic. She's like, you know, she's got a fever. So she's like delirious kind of. And she starts, they find where her tent was. It's buried. And she starts trying to dig. And she's yelling, mom, my mom was in there. And she, they're like, and then, like, they, she passes out again. And they take her back. <laughs> They're like, mm, you can stay here for the night. And um, when she comes back up, she or wakes back up, she's like, uh, and he's like, your mom wasn't in that tent, was she? And she's like, well, her picture wasn't. That's the only thing I have. So he goes back. Yuki goes back. And gets her stuff. With some help. Because you find out he. Is the rat. In the Zodiac. And the reason why. That one guy could. Knew that there was a rock slide. Was because the dogs and wolves. That were howling. Pulled him there was a rock slide. Um, and the way she finds out. About all of this is. They're telling her she can live there, and so, you know, her stuff's already, you know, all already there, so you might as well stay, as long as we have your grandpa's okay. Grandpa says, yes, that's fine, and as long as she, you know, as long as she does her, you know, her, her work to stay there, her, like, you know, earns her keep or something like that. And, he, you know, they're rich. They're like, oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but she does. She does the laundry and the dishes, and she finds she finds the kitchen um, because it's never been used. They've always just done takeout, and it's just so so funny because she's getting her room set up. Yeah, getting her room set up, and Yuki is walking away, like about to go out the door, and the other guy is standing there. Shinge, Shinge. I forgot his name. I think it's Shinge. Is standing there, and someone crashes through the ceiling, <laughs> and like is like about to attack Yuki, and out of instinct, Toru just like launches herself at him, like, "Oh no, you don't!" And it like grabs him, and he turns into a cat, and she's like, "What?" And she starts falling. And as she falls, she falls into Yuki. <laughs> and he turns into a mouse. And she's like, what? <laughs> and then the other guy turns into a dog. Because she's like, what do I do? <laughs> it is hilarious. And um, I have to say, she takes it pretty well. Because if someone turned into animals in front of me, I would be like, I'm, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I would be like, I can't, I can't handle this. <laughs> I, would, I would walk away and probably check myself into a doctor. Um, I'd be like, I have finally cracked. <laughs> um, but she becomes friends with them. They live together, um, which is kind of frowned upon in the culture because she's a girl in a household of men or young men and so it's kind of like but it's allowed and uh, through the story she finds out their backstories well as a little bit at a time and she always accepts them and I thought that was very nice like she could be like ill 
you're a rat. <laughs> but instead she was like, oh, you're a rat. Like, okay. <laughs> it explains so much. And then slowly she becomes their friends and more like family. And these guys just want to see her happy because they know her backstory. And the two boys, um, Yuki and the cat, um, uh, you, Kyo, K Y O, Kyo. I'm not good with pronunciation very well. Um, yeah, that was a good sentence. Did you hear it? I'm not good with sentences either, apparently. Um, but you find out that he's being shunned by the Soma family, even though he is a Zodiac. Or he's the outsider of the Zodiac because he turns into the cat. And they've always known the story as the cat, like, wasn't good. But the story they know is the rat lied to the cat and then used the ox to get across a river to get to this banquet that the god was holding. And that is not, we find out in the 11th book, that is not the original story. And, um... Oh, I don't want to give it all away, but I do at the same time. It's so cute. Okay, so the cat, in the original story, the cat is the first one to go up to the god and be like, hey, I want to be friends with you. I'll stay by your side, at, you know, for my whole life. And then the god is like, oh, I want more friends like this. And so he starts asking different animals to come to his banquet to be his friends and they meet every year you know the same time and then the cat dies of old age and the god is like oh i don't like this so he gives them everlasting life or not everlasting life but to be reborn so like they never die and the cat is like, I don't want that. I want to die naturally and be done. But the god does not grant his wish. And it's not until the 11th book that that curse of dying and being reborn is broken. And it is very emotional. I think I cried several times. And the last part of that book, like the, the last three chapters just like went straight into each other and told that story. And it was just like tears. Okay. Tears. And, um, but before all of that, you find out why the cat has been shunned. You find out who the God is. Um, and their name is Akito. They were born a female, but raised a man because her mom wanted her to be raised a man. Her dad, as she was born, and until he passed away at her young age, told her that she was special. And that everyone she had, you know, the rest of the Zodiac would always be with her. And so she started forcing it. Um, and she starts doing some really dark things because she was raised to be like, she was the one in charge. And if they didn't obey her, then they should be punished. And it's just like, but, but, but you don't, you don't realize that that's how she was raised until towards the end. And you just see her, them, him, because you think it's a he. You see him as like this very mean guy. And I don't want to feel sorry for her, but at the same time, I'm like, well, if she was raised differently, if she was raised to be kinder, if she wasn't put on a pedestal, maybe 
things would have been different. But it's starting to get darker outside. So it's gonna rain. There's a cloud right there. I see it. Um. Anyway, you meet. You end up through the first few books meeting all of the Soma Zodiac members, and um. They all have different personalities, okay? And one guy has, like, two personalities. And usually only one person in the family is a Zodiac member. But in Yugi's family, his older brother is also a Zo Zodiac. And a very big personality person. And Yuki is the complete opposite. Very shy, very like... Until the end, he gets a little more personality because he starts doing things to make himself do things. You know, like, be a more person, personal person. <laughs> and, um... At first, whenever you're first reading this, you're like, oh my gosh, I want... Uh, Yuki and Toru to get together and they're going to be so cute and then you realize you're like no that, that wouldn't work and it's it, yeah it's Kayo from Kayo Kyo the cat from the beginning and his his story is sad and you find out that he knew Toru's mom. And. And. Um, Yuki met Toru and her mom also. But he had a hat on. Because he wasn't supposed to be outside of the Soma walls. And um, Toru had gotten lost. And she's like. Mom is like. And she's like, if somebody steals my kid, they better start praying. <laughs> Cause, you know, that's her, like, gang person coming out. And the police officers are like... And then she sees um, the cat boy. And she's he's like, what's wrong? And she, he's like, you know, I you know, poor was missing. And he's like, I'll help find her. And he goes looking. And then a little bit of time goes by. And Yuki... Um, has heard the description of what Toru looks like, and he goes looking, and she's like in a ball, crying somewhere, pretty far from the house. And he kind of he like he stands there until she sees him, but he has the hat on, so and, and like he's backlit, so she doesn't really see him, see him, and so. She stands up and she's like, hey, can you help me? And he starts walking off and she's like, hey, and she starts going, you know, and then he starts running and then she starts running and he takes her back to the house and she falls down right at the end and he takes the hat and puts it on her head and helps her up, like, you know, down over her eyes and helps her up and then walks away and she keeps that hat and that's how they, they both realize, oh my gosh, this is the girl. <laughs> we know this girl and it is just it is a sweet story okay should they have told her sooner probably <laughs> probably but um i'm not going to talk any more about the books i'm not um i love them i think everyone should read them if you're old enough and I'm doing this video today because I'm going to the library tomorrow so I can take this book back and then I'm going to see about one of these other two books. Um, I mean, I'm going to see if they have Lisa Lot and Witches Forest or Twinkle Star by the same author. Um, if they don't, then I'm going to get, uh, 
probably Snow White with the red hair or something else small. I was going to do My Hero, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of books of My Hero. Oh, or one of the other ones that I've watched the show of. I'll have to look through my uh, my shows that I've watched. Um, Fruits Basket, the TV, it's, it's on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I just looked it up. So there are two Fruit Basket, um, Fruits Basket uh, animes. And one is from... 2001 and it's more they they shh, just a minute they they go more towards like the funny aspect and then there's um from the one from t 2019 and it's more fantasy romance and you can find it on disney disney plus has it right now um so disney plus hulu it says that it's on amazon and then um, maybe Crunchyroll? I'm not positive about Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll says that they have everything and they don't. It kind of irritates me. Um, uh, anyway, I'm going to find some another anime to read, or anime, a manga to read. But both of those TV shows are really good and they're very similar because I mean they try to stick to the story the best they can, but it's not as I, I feel like it's not as graphic as the um, books the manga is because in the in the manga you see one of the characters get pushed out a window. I don't remember if that is actually in the um, the TV animes. But this one was just like happily ever after at the end. Um, everything was kind of like tied up into a nice little bow. Everyone happily ever after. And at the end you meet um, the people who end up together. You meet their grandchild. <laughs> It's so cute. Um, I wish there was more. I want more. I want more. I just want. I just wanted the story to keep going. I wanted to see all of the, all of them have families and still meet up because they want to meet up once a year instead of being forced to. Um, because uh, Akito, the head of the Soma family used to force them to come and do uh, a New Year's Zodiac family thing and that they had to perform for her and yeah um, I like that when she finally when she finally is like, this is, this is a terrible, like, she, she starts like, she's like, I don't want to be in control. She's like, this is, this is not, they're not my friends. And so once the bonds start to break, um, one of the boys, like the, one of the youngest ones is like, she, cause she calls a meeting family meeting it's not a new year's meeting it's just a family meeting and he's like this is before everyone else has been broken and she he's like what are you gonna do what are you gonna say and she's like i don't know yet and he's like well if i go i'm gonna tell them that my bond is broken and this this and this and you know <laughs> and he, she's like you know that's something i always like about you you're just straightforward and tell people the truth and he's like Thank you. <laughs> like, you've always noticed. Um, there is one relationship that happens that I'm not... I don't like how it ended. I'm just like... But... 
whatever. It's just not what I would have chosen, but I'm not the author. So, um, yeah. Okay. I've been talking for, uh, in my, my timer thing says 32 minutes. I know that I stopped a few times, so it's not going to be that long, but, um, let me know what you think of Fruits Basket. Have you, have you read it? Have you, you read it? Oh, I almost gave something away. Um, have you read Fruits Basket? Um, remember, if you're going to read a manga, you start from the, what we as Americans think is the back. The, if you start back here and you work your way to the front and read. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's so good. Have you read Fruits Basket? Have you seen Fruits Basket anime? Um, which anime is your favorite? Do you have a manga recommendation for me? I used to not read stuff like this. I used to not watch anime at all, and then I met my husband. And the first, and well, it was American anime, was Ruby, R-W-B-Y, was my first um, anime. And then my second anime was Kaleidostar. It's raining. And then I was like, oh, what's this? And uh, I think my, the next one was The Host Club or something like that. And... I've just kind of picked up cutesy things from there. But then I found, I found the horror anime. <laughs> oh, horror anime is my favorite. I have to say, um, I need, that's what I need to do. I need to find the, the manga that goes with those. Okay. Oh, I was just looking, um, I don't think that fruit fruits basket it, anime is on Disney. I think it's the Hulu. Whenever you have the Disney Plus Hulu, um, yeah, I guess I should have looked more into that. Where is it? Ooh, um, my first horror, I guess horror, if you want to call it that, um, I didn't think it was really that horror, to be honest. I think it was just weird, um, was Noragami. And then, and then, Is it not on here anymore? <sighs> it's not on here anymore. Oh man, that makes me sad. I don't even remember what it was called. I was just looking for the picture. It was about a girl who woke up in like a hospital and she, um, or a hospital, and she encounters a bunch of, um, very creepy stuff and one of the one of the evil peoples that she meets he's like um he, he's like smile while like you know he's like got a scythe and he's like in black and he's creepy looking and kind of cute um to be honest and um he, she's just like please kill me and he's like, well, now that's no fun. And, um, 
Then him and one of the other bad people she encounters, um, they fight over her and they like she goes through all these different things and you start getting flashes of her life and and you found out that her mother and father had been murdered and she went a little crazy and sewed them together. <laughs> um, I can't remember what it was called. I'm trying to find it, but it doesn't look like it's on here anymore. Oh, hate when that happens. Anyway, if that sounds like something you know about, please let me know what the name of it is so I can look it up. Um, she wakes up in a mental hospital, like for real, for real, in a mental hospital um, at the end in the children's psych ward. I think. Anyway, uh, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for new suggestions. Um, anime or manga. And um, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you're not sure if you want to subscribe, click my face bubble. And uh, you can go check out my channel and see about my other videos. And... Share this video with someone else who might want to know a little bit about Fruits Basket and um, or maybe you they needed a, a suggestion. Um, this book is full of the, this whole series, not this book, but the whole series is very emotional. And you go Ch -ch -ch. and um, we've all been in, at least I have been in probably half of the people's emotion problems we've all seen death or you know had someone talk to us mean or maybe we were the one talking mean and uh yeah the whole series is about loving yourself i think that's that's how I felt. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna finish my coffee and um, edit a video and go play with my kid. All right, see you in my next video. Bye.